Hey everybody, welcome to Susie's Stuff. I'm Susie, and in today's episode, I am kicking off my fall season with a mega rewind of some of my favorite fall 60 second DIYs. And if you're new here, I created the 60 second DIY about three years ago to bring you quick and easy DIYs using supplies from some of my favorite places. And just like all my other episodes, I hope I can inspire you as well as inspire each other by commenting down below. So let's get started on this 60 second mega rewind right now. Come on. I'm starting out with this new white pumpkin from Dollar Tree and then some of these wooden beads and these new leaves that I found. I hope you can find them too. I need a clock, let's get started. So all I'm gonna do is remove the little metal leaf there on the top, and we're gonna add this new gingham leaf. They are just darling. And so what I'm doing is taking some twine and I'm going to add a few beads at the top. And these are some wooden beads that I got at, on uh, Amazon and I'll link them down below. They came in the pack of black and then the brown and then I had some natural wood beads that all came together. So I think I got a really good price. So that's done and I'm gonna, I was just gonna let it kind of hang down, but I really liked how it kind of swagged over to the side. And I just hot glued it on the back and now we're adding that beautiful gingham new leaf. And then we're going to add a little raffia bow. And with 10 seconds left, all I'm gonna do is grab some of the tower blocks. And I just made a little stand for this cute pumpkin and I am done, three, two, one. And there it is. I think this is so cute. And I love taking things that are already pretty much cute the way they are. And Dollar Tree sure has shown that this year. And I just add, add my own little touch at the top. I hope you love it. And I hope you can find all these pieces to make your farmhouse pumpkin today. I've got two wooden rounds and one oval, and they are from Walmart. Here is some chalk paint. I need a clock, abracadabra. These pieces are gonna get a quick coat of sage shadow. I love this green. And now they are dry and I'm just gonna glue them together. This is one of those pumpkins that, it, like those big old flat kind of bumpy pumpkins. What do you call those? Like a Cinderella pumpkin. And I just thought this is gonna go great together. And then we're, all we're gonna do is just add some detail. Now I always remember my 60 seconds, sometimes don't take 60 seconds to do, but I like to bring it to you in 60 seconds. Just to start your inspiration flowing. I just added a piece of wrapped up burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree for the stem. And with about 20 seconds left, I'm just using a little bit of brown apple barrel paint. I think this is called brown oxide and then the other one is light mocha. And I'm just kind of going around giving it a little bit of detail. Just real quick, no fancy thing. I also used some sandpaper to kind of rub it down a little bit. And now I found this little cinnamon tiny broom that I broke apart to add on as just a little bit of detail. And it is complete. One second, time's up. Oh, here it is. What do you think? I just love this piece. I was kind of skeptical in using the round circles with it, but I love how kind of big and fat and bumpy that it is. It just came out so cute, and you could do it any color, like a more white or even a brown color. This really took no time to put together at all, and I hope you enjoyed my 60 second DIY little chubby pumpkin. The clock has started, and we are gonna start out with some of the Dollar Tree picks. Uh, some twine, my beautiful 50, sec 50 cent jar that I found at Target. And we're just gonna throw all this together. Like it's gonna be super quick. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it in 60 seconds. <laughs> but this first little pick, I love it. It's beautiful and it's from Dollar Tree, but I didn't like the orange in there. And some of those little pieces were kind of torn apart. So I just took out a few of them, uh, cut them off. I just didn't like that orange. 
So we're going to cut those off. So I'm already at 12 seconds left. I kind of put this together in 30 seconds. So I'm talking a little bit more. So we're just going to throw it all together. Part of the last of the video I didn't show, but I wrapped this twine around it and here's how it came out. What do you think? I love this blue. I think you're going to see that a lot in my uh, upcoming DIYs for fall. Look at that pumpkin and look at my 50 cent cutting board. Did that just not pull it all together? I am thrilled how this came out. Wow. We first have to start out with some supplies and all of this comes from Dollar Tree. And let's get a clock. Here we go. So those little boo cutouts are darling from Dollar Tree. You get three in a pack and then the little black easel goes perfect. I didn't have to paint anything. So I just hot glued that on there and then use the little googly eyes to add the special little cute touch. Oh my goodness, I did that in about 20 seconds. So let's do part two of the 60 seconds. I have got these wonderful little pumpkins from Dollar Tree, some raffia, and all I need is a hurricane jar or vase, and we're just kind of stuffing everything in there. I cut some of the raffia in little bitty pieces, and we're just cramming it in there. And as I was doing it, you could also add some fairy lights. So I have 10 seconds left. I think I'm gonna make it. I add a little more raffia on top. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, I did it, woo! Boy, this was so much fun and so easy. Can you believe I did two little projects in 60 seconds? And aren't they so cute together? You could use them together or apart, but I just think it is so fun, so cute. No paint this time. I hope you enjoyed. Before the clock starts, I'm going to show you my supplies. These darling stickers from Dollar Tree. They're so cute little pumpkins. And then this new thing I saw, it's called a chunky slat at Dollar Tree tree and I love it let's have a clock here we go I am first giving it just one little uh, kind of a thick coat there the paint kind of spilled out but it's some white chalk paint folk art is the brand and now it's dry and I'm just going to uh, rough it up a little bit give it a rustic feel give it a farmhouse feel with my uh, sand block sanding block and now let's open up those so cute stickers they have a little texture to them and here's where the fun begins I think I could play with stickers all day long they're so fun so quick and add the cutest little touch to everything And with about 20 seconds left, I'm going to add this wooden finishing piece. Uh, they're little wooden knobs or whatever you call them from Walmart. I had this left over and it was uh, stained and I just kind of roughed it up with my sandpaper. Now we're going to add some raffia, make a little quick bow, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. How cute is that? Time's up. quick and easy was this. I think this would be so cute in your bathroom up on the counter or your kitchen or just anywhere. I think it's darling. I love those pumpkins. They're so whimsical and cute. And uh, check out how I made those little copper pumpkins in my last video. So I hope you enjoyed this 60 second DIY. Thank you. All right, before we start, I have to have a sip of coffee. I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree little shadow boxes. They are so precious, really, the way they are. But we're going to add some window clings. I love all these sheets. I got most of them at Dollar Tree. And there's a couple in there from Dollar General. So check that out. I'm going to use this sheet, a little bit of Mod Podge. I need a clock. Let's go. I'm starting out with this piece of very thin cardboard. It actually came from those calendars. And so I took off the two window clings that I'm going to use. I placed them on there and then I just cut with my X-Acto knife around both of them. I 
I really love that brown natural color that cardboard has plus the texture that it has and I just put on some Mod Podge to seal them right up hot glue them right on I pop those other little pieces right off and boom it's done in 45 seconds I've had these um, little wooden pieces to go on top I got those at Walmart and I just stain them add a little bit of raffia boom to both of them and it's done I love 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 how this turned out and I just want to tell you that of course I didn't really do it in 60 seconds but I like to bring it to you in 60 seconds to give you a quick inspiration so you can create no. your own and the clock has started I couldn't believe I found these galvanized hanging signs they are so cool you must pick them up I'm using some candy corn some ribbon and a sharpie and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write the words trick-or-treat on the sign I wrote it on a piece of paper first because I want to see how big I need to make it because I'm going to be gluing some candy corn at the beginning of the phrase and at the end of the phrase. I want to make sure I have enough room. You can take some polyurethane and spray paint the candy corn if you want to, but I'm just going to probably pop them off in a few weeks. But I just cut a few strips of ribbon, tied a jute twine around it, and then tied it on my sign. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. Trick or treat, everybody. I hung it in my bathroom, or you can hang it on a doorknob. I hope you're able to find these wonderful, darling, cute signs at Dollar Tree and go out and make so yours. stickers. And the very first one I'm gonna show you are these little copper frames. They were over in the frame department. I love that copper. I hope you can find them. And these are some Dollar Tree stickers, some fall stickers that they have out now. They're so cute, but sometimes it's like, what can I use them or how can I use them? So I am just cutting out four, or no, three little pieces of uh, brown paper that you can get at Dollar Tree, you know, the wrapping paper. And then this is the fun part, is I'm going to add all the little stickers that I want to use in my frames. And this is one of the fun parts, is putting all of your stickers and playing around and seeing how you want them to be. I love these stickers, I think they're my favorite. They have um, sort of a 3D feel, very textured, and the colors are wonderful. Now, there was one sticker on there that said, hello, something it was spelled h-y-g-g-e and i've never heard of that before so i looked it up and i'm going to show you here the definition <laughs> okay it's pronounced huga and it's a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that endangers a feeling of contentment or well-being i think that's pretty good never ever seen that on a sticker and here it is I love how these turned out and you learned a new word booga and so I think these will be perfect sitting in your kitchen dining table wherever I love these copper frames I hope you can find them they had just put them out and they're over by the frames and so enjoy making white yours pumpkin. today and everybody can find these white pumpkins for a dollar right so come on outside with me I'm gonna spray paint it white and I was going to use black paint to paint in the eyes and the mouth but I decided to use burnt umber I just kind of wanted to do a little something different and I gave it three coats I always keep a little pile of sticks on the side of my house I just kind of pick them up you never know when you're gonna need them for a project and so I stuffed my pumpkin with some, let's see, Dollar Tree sacks, and I'm going to throw those all in there. I just think it makes it super rustic looking, and I was actually going to leave it just like that. That was my intention, 
but I decided to use some florals in there. You'll see in just a minute. I also used my little white paint pen from Dollar Tree to sort of touch up any little area that wasn't just right. And so here it is all put together. I love this piece. It was so easy. It is sitting on my mantle right now. And all those little floral pieces I did pick up at Dollar Tree. So it all came together beautifully. You can add anything in there you like. I think it turned out great. First one, these are some scrubbers. I was over in the cleaning department and I saw the word copper and I'm like, uh oh, copper. And then I looked at them closely and they look like pumpkins. Oh my goodness, how cute. This is so fun to do. They really, you don't have to do much. I just kind of um, scrunched them around and kind of lifted them up a little bit because um, they were a little flat and then I went outside and got some sticks and then put those inside and hot glued them in and they look so darling sitting around wouldn't you think I mean a scrubber turned into a pumpkin I'm so glad I needed some cleaning supplies that day okay here are my new little uh, miter shears that I got and I'm just using those to cut off the branches a little bit, kind of trim them down. It works perfectly. And once again, I am linking the uh, link there to those shears I got at Home Depot for $19.99 or $97 or something, 20 bucks. So we're just getting all those taken care of and put right in there. And if you are a teacher watching, how fun to have your kids create their own. They can make the stem out of construction paper or just have them bring in some sticks from their home. And you get, you get three in a package for a dollar. So now I'm taking my shears and I'm just kind of um, actually mitering them, doing it to the side there to look like a real stem, kind of give it a diagonal cut. And then I'm grabbing some of that beautiful ribbon that I used before, the green burlap, and I'm just gonna cut a couple of little leaves to add in there. I did add a burlap leaf on the one over there to the left. How cute, and it's done all from a copper scour. And I love my little tractor. That's something I picked up years ago at Hobby Lobby on 90% off. And it just goes perfect. And hey, you guys, that was my very first mega rewind of 60 Second DIYs. I hope you enjoyed it. I really had fun putting it all together and uh, all those memories of the other ones that I made when I first started my channel. So I'm so excited that you joined me and please tune in. I do upload every week. I kind of was out for a little while, but I am back and ready for fall. So let's get everything ready so we can have a great fall and Halloween and Christmas season. I can't wait. See you next time on Susie Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.